Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This name is My Wave, and I'm your instructor, Vishal Maure. So, in this, in the last video, I'm working on the part 17, the make responsive header of your e-course website, sec part 7. Sorry, second. Okay. So, in this video, I'm working on the our navigation bar with responsive. So, first of all, we need to make this responsive. We need to install a font awesome icon because we need to when I click on a icon, bars icon then this navigation bar is flow out okay so simply i am going to the font awesome okay i don't font awesome dot io okay and i click on the download so no thanks just download font awesome 4 okay and it is uh, asking me for a location so i click on the desktop the e-commerce okay and I click on the save okay and I close it okay go back and I open this file folder okay here is a font awesome 4.7.0 point uh, point uh, zip so I click on the extract here okay I click delete this okay change the name of this into the far only okay and go to the text editor I'm using bracket and go to top and after the BS slider or CSS uh, relationship okay I create a, another link hyper reference for CSS and if you want to use a minified version so you can choose the minified version the relation is style sheet okay press the control S button and after that go to the navigation area here is a div ID navigation I take a anchor type the uh, address is blank okay the class is menu tabular okay and i class with class the class name is fa fa bars okay press the control button and check in the browser refresh okay i got a bar right here right now so now I am going to do responsive mode so click on this menu icon the developer and the responsive design mode or you can or you can press the control plus shift plus M ok and I select a device with is a Samsung, I select the Samsung Galaxy S7 right now ok ok and after that well, we need to change the color and some styling of that so go back and I open the dot CSS style dot CSS okay and go down go down go down okay so dot sorry dot menu tabular the color will be white and the position is absolute the from top is near about 70 pixel the from left is near about 20 pixel and the font size mm, the font size 20 pixel also okay let's check control s button and refresh okay i got a, a bar icon with a, a color a white color colored bar icon okay okay and after that we need to go to the media.css file okay here we go and go to the 768 device width okay the maximum width 768 okay yeah so we need to change the some styling up of this uh, navigation and uh, nav nav id main nav and anchor tag something like that. okay so yeah okay go uh, so first of all we need to change the navigation okay the navigation okay and simply change the height will into the auto after that uh, the float none mm, no i don't need it to float none after that uh, with uh, obviously the width is uh, again 100% it 
because I don't need to take any risk so and the margin from top and uh, down to zero and from left to right is auto okay auto okay after that uh, hash navigation and the nav the float will be none float none and the margin the margin again zero and auto sorry auto and the uh, width double duty h okay the width is hundred percent again and after that the main nav and the anchor tab okay the display block the display block and the width is hundred percent the the width is hundred percent and the border bottom okay mm, border bottom one pixel solid solid black okay and the margin is uh, zero important for overwrite okay press the control plus button check in the browser refresh okay here we go but uh, here is uh, no any border okay solid okay yeah i got it here is the icon as, uh, as you can see the bar icon and this uh, navigation bar is flow none float none okay so again i am uh, working on the display none okay because when i click that then this uh, navigation will flow out okay not before that so i simply hash main nav and the display none okay press the control button and check in the browser okay as the display none so for displaying this when i click that so i'm using the jquery function okay slide toggle and something like so i'm going to do js and have my my dot js okay so dollar and uh, dot class when i click on the cl uh, main toggler okay so uh, when i click that this bar icon okay so menu toggler okay menu toggler dot what happened on the dot when i click that sorry when I click that then I want to run a function what happen I, when I click on this bar button so dollar the action is performed on the hash main nav okay the main nav and dot slide toggle okay SL ID and um, remember the T is kept in capital okay in the fast mode not slow okay and I want to do using the this parameter this um, toggle toggle class active okay active sorry active and press the take the semicolon okay now i press the control s and button and check in the browser refresh i click that okay so congratulations guys you got a responsive navigation bar with a uh, some multiple times okay oh, 768 wait 
okay when I click that this notification bar is working on okay and again I select this Samsung Galaxy S7 mode okay okay we need a professional navigation bar so you you cannot take uh, give them a uh, padding okay so middle middle spaces and here is main nav i simply write padding uh, 10 pixel okay press the control button and check in the browser okay so it's working on the home new arrivals deals electronics accessories products and orders okay uh, but here is a problem uh, when I click uh, sorry when I decrease the size in a normal mode okay then it is also displaying so I, I don't need to display in the desktop mode or a laptop mode I mean uh, so maximum width near about 1218 so I am going to install CSS file and here is the menu toggler I am simply write the display none ok and mirror, mirror CSS mm, yeah navigation bar dot menu tabular display block ok press the control button and check in the browser refresh it's a hide and when I pressing control plus M and when I select this okay this will be happen and I when I close that okay so this, this bar icon is hide so I hope you learn how to make a response to a navigation bar with uh, using a jQuery and media CSS file okay okay so in the next video i'm working on a slider so if you like this video so press the like button and share with your friends and if you if you don't if you don't want to miss any video from my this video series so you press that subscribe button okay so meet us in the next video so take care bye bye and stay with me happy coding